Working closely with Luis, Paul and his team will turn a miniature model of the three T-Rexes into a finished exhibit. The science will come alive through a combination of art and engineering. Luis came out here several months ago. He pretty much shifted things around to the scenario that's going on here. Uh, but again, we have a little liberty uh, because we want to make these things come to life. Otherwise, they just, they just don't uh, move and they don't look real. Fossilised bones are essentially solid lumps of rock, which means that mounting them into a skeleton is an enormous challenge. Most of the bones are real, which makes them extremely heavy. We're estimating that the total weight of the bones is a little over a ton. Uh, the femurs are probably a, a good 200, 250 pounds a piece. And we have to uh, set those in place with special rigging devices. Heaven forbid one of them falls because it would take quite a bit of time to get those back together. The entire skeleton will be held together using a custom-made steel frame, which needs to be strong enough to support the enormous weight of the fossils. This will fit in. This will get attached uh, to this other section over here. And I'll take one of these ribs here. And I'm not sure exactly which one goes where at this point. Um, this is number five. So it would lay down right in there. That will actually get screwed in at the bottom and just settle itself right, right in here. Like many T-Rexes, this one has been given a nickname, Thomas. He's one of the best T-Rex specimens ever discovered, but is still only 70% complete. The missing bones will be made by Paul's team, based on over 30 partial Tyrannosaurus rexes that have been found so far. On this particular rib, you could see where the real rib uh, goes together with the artificial rib. And this is the section that we had modeled, and you can see how it blends in with the real rib, uh, how it's glued, and it's also pinned on the inside uh, so it doesn't break. And these ribs uh, will break like icicles. Uh, if you pick them up the wrong way, they'll just crack, break right apart. But it's not just about hanging the skeleton safely. The steel frame will be a work of art in itself, millimetre perfect and subtle enough not to draw attention away from the dinosaur. Han Jin is uh, filing down part of the rib armature. Uh, again, this is uh, specifically made like a piece of jewellery. It has to hold a specific piece in a, spe a special way. And he's at the point now where he's starting to clean up the welds. Yeah. And it's going to be absolutely gorgeous by the time he's finished. <laughs> so. The pose in which the dinosaur is hung, while being true to science, will also involve a degree of artistic interpretation to really bring the exhibit to life. A little bit more of a sine wave in it, because okay. it's a little too flat and it, it's not moving well. So. <laughs> Myself and Kevin have been working on the tail, and I personally don't like the way it looks. And now we're going to be actually taking that down next week and putting a slight bend in that to get it, give it a little bit more life. But it's just a, a visual movement. For instance, we might change the toes just a little bit to, to give this thing a sneaking feeling or a pausing feeling. But it's, it's very, very, very subtle. You might move one toe just one inch in one direction, and that changes how you visualize this whole thing.